Yo, what's going on YouTube? Um, this is a tap tempo update. So basically, you know, I, I know it's I know I put up a lot of videos, but this one is like real detail. You feel me? Uh, unfortunately, I can't I, I can't really show you my MPK. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open up the Visex editor and I'm gonna let you see what's going on inside of there. All right. Um, first thing you want to do is you know have this sync button down here in your transport bar. All right. So you just go, you know, right either right click on your transport bar, um, MacBook MacBook users, you can control click on it, and that'll bring up this customized transport bar button. So you just click that, you know, sync right here. Make sure that's clicked, and hit OK. All right. So then, on your MPK, um, what you want to do is hit Edit. Or you can open up your Visex editor or whatever. Me personally, I already have I already have it, but hit edit, press one of those buttons. Alright, press hit edit, press one of your control change buttons, say button number S1, for instance, alright? And make sure hit enter. You know it's gonna say control change, hit enter. Um, and then make sure it's TGL toggle. You know, hit the hit the hit the little navigation button, hit toggle. Make sure it's toggle. It should say like control change, you know, have a number it up. Don't worry about that. And then hit enter and save that to a preset on your MPK. All right. Um, that's just basically setting up commands. You know what I mean? Um, so basically you can do that inside of the Visex editor. Same way. If you have like say my preset was logic. All right. So I'm switched over to logic. My preset is logic on my MPK. All right. Um, now what you do is you have, you know, this little button and you have the MIDI control channel. It's number 28 and the toggle mode is, you know, it's, the switch mode is toggle. So you can effectively turn that button on and off and it's not just going to flash once when you press it. All right. And just save that, save that as a preset. Okay. Now inside of logic, you go to your preferences and go to key commands and what key commands will do, you go to sync, just type in sync in the search, sync internal, external, and make sure that, you know, you have, I already have that basically set up to what that is. You know what I mean? My sync, my sync command. You just learn new assignment. Delete that for you guys. Um, let me close out of this editor real fast. Close out of the editor, learn new assignment. I press it once. Okay, that learned it for on. And then I learn another assignment and press it for off. All right. So you, you learn two different assignments. One is going to be when it's highlighted yellow and one's going to be when it's off. So that way you can turn it on and off. If you don't do that, then you're going to have to press it twice to turn it on and press it twice to turn it off, which would be kind of annoying. You know what I mean? So that just, you know, when it's on, you know, hey, sync is on. When the light's off, sync is off. Boom. Simple. All right, you can do that for cycle mode. Just type in cycle at the top, and that's your your locators. You can toggle cycle mode. That's what that is. Um, any of those, just you know, you kind of go through these key commands and, and look and see which one to help your workflow. Like split by playhead, you can do that one for like sampling, and that one is real simple. Um, just split split eat regions by playhead position and you can have that one for either toggle or momentary. You can have that one for toggle or momentary. You can have it for, you know what I'm saying, whatever. You know what I mean? Split by locators, split by rounded position. All right, all that. All right, so that's just a simple getting it set up. But for now, we're just going to do the sync. You know what I'm saying? Just sync on and off, internal, external. All right? So then, this is kind of like a little crack, like a little hack, you know what I mean? So now I'm pressing my tap tempo button, and you notice down here at the bottom, there's nothing displayed. I'm pressing tap tempo, but nothing's displayed, all right? So what this does is it, it enables Logic to actually read that funny little message that the MPK sends to itself when you press that tap tempo button. So you just open up the Visex editor, you still have Logic, you still have all your sync settings up, open up the Visex editor, it's gonna load up, blah, 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 blah. All right, then you hit 
then you just um you go over here to your, to Apple or force quit or you can just hit control option escape same thing and you force quit the Visex. Now notice when the Visex is open before you force quit it. Notice that now when I press my tap tempo, it reads these little little funny little funny messages over there. A little X, okay? That's a system exclusive message. So I'll force quit it, force quit it, boom. So now it's still reading that message after I force quit the Visex editor. So I go back to my preferences, key commands, and then I type in tap tempo. Tap tempo, and then I learn that assignment. But what I want to do is I want to press it and hold it. That way it's learned, all right? Because if I press it once, it may give a little funny little thing. So I press it, hold it, about five seconds, and now it's learned that assignment. So now when I go to my tap tempo, I go to sync. Sync puts your sync puts your 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 uh, logic inside of like tempo tempo response mode. So if you go over here and you right you right click or control click on the sync button, it's going to say internal sync, SMPTE sync, or manual sync. You always want to have manual sync and MIDI MIDI machine control check. So I already have that check. And manual sync is the tempo interpreter, so that's what it means. It's interpreting your tempo. So now I can tap my tempo in. Now notice I tap kind of fast, but my tempo is relatively low. That's because that's because I have my tempo interpreter set to a one eighth tap step. So if I drop my drop my tap step down to one fourth, that's the ideal one. That's going to give me a more accurate tempo, you know, according to what I'm tapping. See, that's fast now. That tempo is almost double timed itself. You feel me? So if you if you like lower tempos, like in the 90, 80, 100 range, then one eighth is perfect for you. If you're in the more like 125, 140 range, then you know one fourth is perfect. One fourth would probably do you better. You know what I'm saying? So. Just tap a simple tempo in. Kind of like a bouncy tempo right there. But it's all good. Double click on it. Press stop twice. And then just hit enter. Okay. So by pressing stop twice, I just bring my playhead back to the start position. That's way that that's where my tempo was actually read at. And then I just hit enter to enter in that new value that I've highlighted by double clicking it. And then get out of um, manual sync mode. All right, and that's basically that's basically it. You know what I mean? Tap tempo is real simple. Tap tempo the project. You can also change the division value of your click um, just by going here and tapping by division, and then down here at the bottom, this is your division. So if you wanted to tap really simple, some people like to tap kind of like to a beat. You know, or if you wanted to tap faster, just change that, change that division value. All right, and that's pretty much it. That's tap tempo, man. Simple, simple, simple as pie.